Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a plan with me and my Hobonichi cousin and possibly also my weeks. So we're starting a new month, it's almost February, and I thought since everyone enjoyed this video so much last month that I would do it again. So I did want to kind of flip through and show you this past month in both my weeks and my cousin, but let's go through the cousin first. So I am thoroughly enjoying the system that I have started using, and I really, really enjoy it so far. Uh, the main thing that I think I will change up in this kind of monthly outlook is going to be some of what I track. Uh, I have tracked pretty well, like I filled this in for every day, and there are some things that I, of course, don't do every day. Uh, and one thing that's really shocking to me is I'm a reader but I can see on here that multiple days go by where I don't read and essentially I have read on the weekend and that's about it. Uh, but one thing that I'm really proud of, the green is no spending. I think I'll probably change up what I track in February. I haven't really decided on that yet, so that might not be in this video where I write that down, but I'm definitely gonna change up my colors. I do not like all of the different colors. I think next month, I'm just gonna try to do it in different shades of the same color. Here was my monthly spread for January, which really, really filled out. Uh, and so I, I really liked this because I really basically use a monthly just to kind of scan back to. And so this was functionally just a work planner. And so I just had things written down that I have to do basically every day. I had holidays written down uh, and then I had other things, just random things. The only comeback that I have mentioned is TXT's comeback, which is today, the day that I'm filming this. And isn't it amazing? It's amazing. So February is basically completely open. The only two things that I have so far on this are Beckyon coming out of the military next Sunday, and there will be a boys come back this month in February. Right now, we don't know the date, but I, I mean, I feel sure that it's going to be in kind of the 14 to 25 zone. Like I really feel like it's going to be in that last half of the month. So I'm really excited about that. I, I have enjoyed using the monthly outlook and the monthly spread because I really just use this to glance back at. It's not something that I really use every day. One thing I want to say that I think I haven't fully figured out is kind of this weekly vertical column here. I know people have different ideas for how you should do this. I have essentially made it a to-do list and I basically list the things that I have done each day. I would really like it to be more creative and to have more design. So the only day that I have any design on is Saturday the 14th when I saw Wannis. That's it, but I would love to do more design, but really in the end, this actually became something that I used a lot here in the last half of the month as a great to-do list, and also to just kind of make note of when I am uploading videos. So here's this week's, it's very blank. One thing I think you'll notice, especially in these pages as I flip through, three of my pins have died while using this Hobonichi. And I feel like two of them, I would say that's a coincidence, but three is definitely a trend. And so I think maybe I don't have the right pins for this paper, but also I hold my pen straight up. Like it's, it's very weird. The way that I write is very weird. And so I think maybe that means that a pen drains of ink more quickly. I really don't know, but that is one thing that I really want to experiment with. I basically gave up here in the last week and just used a ballpoint black pen. That's probably my biggest concern about what we're doing today. So let's go back to the dailies. I have used these pretty standardly. I basically set these up the same way every day. I block out kind of the schedule here and I use this specifically on days that I work as an hourly schedule of what I'm doing that day. I love that. That is something that I really wanted to take over because I had been using, um, not an Erin Condren, but it's somebody else 
who had a planner at Target, had a line that came through Target as a daily planner. And that's easily the function that I used it the most for was just scheduling out hour by hour. So I personally really loved that. I've tried to track what I eat in a day. That has been so sporadic, but I still really appreciate it. And then I also have been tracking what I'm currently listening to and what I'm watching slash what I'm reading. I wish I was tracking that better. But this area here that's just big and open, that's kind of blank. That can be a to-do list. It can also be a place to journal. And so this is basically just functional. It really is not pretty, but it's functional. And then the weekends, I did allow myself to kind of just get more creative with. So if it's the weekend and I don't have a whole lot going on, then... I'll just do something a little bit creative because I definitely wanted this to merge both creativity and also just kind of in general, a regular diary with a planner. And I personally really like that. So some days, as you can see, are just like to-do lists, what I needed to pack, what I need to put in my bag for the K-pop concert, for one is concert. But then other days are truly functional. So one thing I did do that I really love is I use at work my BTS memo pad from the Deco Kit, and I just love it. I really love it. One thing I do wish is that they were sticky so that I could just kind of paste it in, but I really like that because I feel like that offers kind of a cute design. So one thing I want to do is maybe get cuter memo pads to put in there. So we're getting into some blank pages here because this is when I went out of town to see one us there's the 14th. And these are copies of the freebies that I made, freebie stickers along with their set list, which is really cute. I put in a receipt for a drink that I had at the bar before the concert, which was really awesome. Uh, and then we are moving into the middle of the month, the week of the 16th. So I did something kind of cute and creative over here because this was a holiday. But then we're kind of back to the regular. On the weekend, I haven't really been blocking these things out. And I think that's interesting because the weekend is definitely when I'm listening more and when I'm watching more and also when I feel like I need to be better about what I'm eating. So I really do want to try to incorporate that this month in the dailies to really section this out. For the most part, the dailies don't have any deco on them except for on the weekends. But during the week, I've not put any deco on them. This week, I put up little heart stickers of Wenis because I had just seen them in concert. So this is last weekend, I guess. And I was getting really excited about the TXT comeback. And today, while I'm crafting, I'm going to be listening to their album. It's so good. It's so good. So I got a sticky club kit. And some of the stickers are really cute and some of them are not. And I told myself if I don't really like them, I can use them here. So uh, this is what I did over here. I'm, I'm not a big fan. I'm not really a big fan of clear stickers in general, but I'm not really a fan of this vibe. But I kind of did a take and spread because I'm really, really excited about their comeback. So then Sunday, this was very little deco, but... The next week, just more of the same. This is when my newest pen died. Literally, the first day that I used this pen, it died. I do not get it. I really don't. Uh, and so here we have, again, just kind of functional stuff. And I just love these memo pads. I love these memo pads so much because really, J-Hopes, for me, this is how I feel every day. What's going on? I mean, every day I feel like that. So I really enjoy using those. And then here we go. We are up to today. And before we get into decoing this, I wanted to show you a flip through of my weeks, which I am using for my booktube channel and also just in general uh, in terms of of tracking what I am doing when I'm making videos, whether that's for this channel or for that channel, I've tried to track it in here. I need to update my tracking chart on this spread. I am just tracking the days in which I've read. And like I've said, it's it's been pretty sparse this month. I'm really shocked at this because this is probably true 
most of the time. I just have never tracked it. So I just think it's interesting that I don't read as much as I think that I do. Here is the monthly spread. I need to update this week because I was just kind of scribbling in when I uploaded things and when things went up. Over here were videos that I wanted to film. Whether that happened, you know, that's up for debate. Sorry, let me zoom in so that you can see this better. Uh, this is very functional, no deco on it, just very, very functional because I had a lot to do this month in terms of my other channel. So uh, this is all that I have so far for February. Uh, I have two obligations for BookTube this month, uh, and then I'm going out on Wednesday. That's the only thing that I have written down so far on the monthly spread. And then here are the weekly spreads that I have done so far. Once again, this is 100% functional. It's not very pretty. It is just truly functional. And I personally really like it because I think it's nice to have something where I am writing down what I'm doing on the daily and also having an area where I can scribble lists of things and come up with video ideas. This has been truly helpful to me. So I'm really excited. I did put a little deco there. Isn't he cute? So we're up to this week, which has been crazy busy for me at work, which means that my channels have suffered, even though I think when you're seeing this, I don't know when you're seeing this, but I actually uploaded twice on this channel uh, last week. So I'm proud of myself. So we have next week to set up. And at the back, I have just been tracking very odd things. My subscriber count on my other channel, uh, books that I have bought, and then books that have been recommended to me, and then just random notes that I have made on books that I have been reading. Once again, this by design is just for functionality. It's really not pretty, but I want it to be because I enjoy that so much about the cousin. So let's go on and get into February setup in my Hobonichi cousin. Do I know what I'm doing? Not really. I kind of feel like it's going to be a bit of a Valentine's vibe. Uh, and I also have these Polaroids. I just made these NCT Polaroids this week and I really want to use them. Uh, and so I am really excited about that. I would really like to use one, but on the monthly spread, it's hard because I actually don't know at this point what the end, the back half of the month looks like. So I kind of want to keep that open. I also have out little things that I might want to deco. So I have film strips of the boys. You never know. Uh, and then I have all of the stickers from my Sticky Club kit this month, which was very Valentine's themed and I think is going to be very appropriate. So we have little ice creams, we have little envelopes, um, we have just cute, cute little bunnies. Uh, Year of the Rabbit, I guess. This is really cute. I love this. I've already started using this. And I mean, the main thing, the main thing I want to use on this spread, these. I'm obsessed with them. Obsessed with them. Like, what are they? They're so cute. And then we have this, which is the one I don't like. <laughs> so I feel like that's going to be an effort for me to use. We have more little cute bears and bunnies. And then we have hearts. So let's get started. I will just turn some music on while I do this. And then I will check in with you at the end. I'm going to set this up and maybe also do my monthly opener for February. So I will check in with you after that.
Okay, so that took a really long time, and I don't know that I'm really happy with everything, but that's the purpose of this. The purpose of this is that it doesn't have to be perfect, and it doesn't really matter. So this is my February opening page, and I feel like it's very bland, but I also think it's really cute. This is Jacob from The Boys, and I don't have a boys bias. I really bias everyone in The Boys, but Jacob maybe a little more than the others, so maybe he's my bias. But I put these little frogs on here, and they're so cute. They are so cute. Sadly, they are clear, but they are so cute. I don't actually know if they're frogs now that I'm looking at them, because don't they have a shell? Maybe it's a snail. I don't know. So that is just the opening page for February. And so we still have a couple of days left in the month, of course. Uh, and so that'll get filled up. I have not done anything here on the weeklies, as I'm sure you could notice. I just don't know what to do here, but I'm going to find out. I'm just going to watch what other people do. Now, here we go. This is the big mess. Oh my gosh. I used a pen that I have used in a Hobonichi before, and it worked really well. This time, it did not want to dry. So, uh, I think y'all could see that I really struggled with that. I smudged it. I also did not like the marker marking off the days that I work. That is something that I did last month that I really enjoyed as I just really liked to be able to look at this at a glance and then I could kind of sort things. So I covered that with washi tape because that marker wound up being basically red and I thought it was going to be pink. So this will of course expand. At this point, I don't really know a lot of what I'm doing in February. So I just wanted to put down appointments, uh, meetings that I knew I had, stuff that I have to do daily at work uh, that is time sensitive. But I put over here Beckyon because he gets out on the 5th. It's okay that he takes up two Sundays because Sundays tend to be kind of open for me. And then I put one of my Polaroids down here. I'm really excited about that. I just thought they were so cute. So I put this Polaroid of Hendry uh, because I just thought it was really cute. I decided to block off these days that go into March as well as kind of this empty column at the bottom because I didn't use that last month. And I would just wait and use the days in March when it gets to March. So I think that visually will also help me at a glance. I think this Polaroid is so cute. Uh, but I really like some of these stickers. Like this had a book. I have a book discussion on the 25th. I really thought that was cute. And I just thought there needs to be more stickers on this page. That's my opinion. I don't necessarily know that everything goes together. But again, I'm trying not to stress about that. If it doesn't match, really who cares? This is meant to be in the end functional for me. If it is cute, that is a plus, but it needs to be at its baseline, something that functions well for me at work. And I think it does. So, I mean, it's cute. I just am not nearly as happy with it as I thought. It's definitely more Valentine's themed than I thought, but I really thought that was cute. So I really, really enjoyed both the monthly spread, but I also thought this was ridiculously cute because I mean, seriously, these frogs, seriously. So let's move on into the weeks. I know this is going to be kind of a long video, but uh, I just thought let's do it all at once. So the weeks are going to be not totally different. One thing that I want to do in the month of February is my goal is to read like NCT. And so I'm currently reading The Phantom of the Opera because of Wavy's recent comeback. And I really would like to read more by them that they have recommended, not by them, but that they have recommended because NCT has a lot of readers. So I think I might make this spread kind of NCT themed. This is a much smaller working space. And I also don't know nearly as much of what I'm going to be doing in February in terms of these channels. So this can be kind of open. So let's go on and get started. We'll just see what we wind up with.
call him this done because I have a list of their recs on uh, my iPad and I'll just transfer that in here. But I didn't feel like you needed to see it. So this is what next week looks like because I want to start reading the NCT recommendations next week. So I put Do Young up here. I know Do Young is not a reader. Like he pretty famously does not read, but he's my bias, so he needed he needed to be in here. But on the monthly outlook, I decided to put Jae Hyun, who is the biggest bookworm of NCT to my knowledge, and I put some of his recommendations down here. And right now, the month is pretty open for me in terms of what I'm doing on my channels. I have two obligations on Saturdays, but I have no clue what I'm going to be filming, so I just decided to kind of leave that open for the time being uh, and then come back in and fill in when I'm ready but I went kind of with black and pink here love it it feels so much more cohesive than the cousin so I think I really like that really looking forward to getting started with this week I really like the Hobonichi weeks and I also like the Hobonichi cousin I have no real preference so far I think they both have their shortcomings, but they also have their strengths. So I will let you know how this continues to go for me, but that is going to be all for me in this video. I feel like it's probably a very long video and I apologize in advance for that. Let me know if your planner system is working out for you this year. I would love to know that down below, but that's going to be all for me today. I will see you again in my next video.